tropical. From South Korea to go to Seoul, that would be the next goal. Family in the UK, going to go business class. Uh, new microwave. <laughs> I'm Corinne McMillan, the state member for Mansfield. Every day I move around our community and you tell me what is important to you most. Every day I hear the cost of living continues to impact our local families. But today, our Premier Stephen Miles has announced a $1,000 electricity rebate off our electricity bills. This will be credited from the 1st of July. This is great news for our community. Authorised by A. Scott, 43 Peel Street, South Brisbane. Tonight, four women targeted in a random attack on an Adelaide train. Another heart scare for a Port Adelaide star as his teammates seal a last kick thriller. Hear from the speedboat driver who survived this incredible crash on the almost two billion Aussie dollars. The 81-year-old former Beatle had his wealth boosted through his recent Got Back tour, which came to Adelaide in October. He's now officially the 165th richest person in the UK. Well, they say fools rush in, so at 80 and 85, Alan and Helen are anything but. The old lovebirds tied the knot today after a 23-year engagement. Why well, it took them so long to get to the altar, a little later in Seven News. Adelaide has produced some very talented performers over the years who've made their mark on the world stage. But on flashback tonight, some of the hopefuls who didn't quite make it after starring on Potluck. Welcome to Potluck, the Adelaide made talent show where talent was apparently optional. Is everybody there? genuinely believe they had something to showcase. Taped at our old studios at Gilberton, it was hosted by Ernie Sigley. Welcome back to the program as we present Act 5, a lady making her first appearance on television, generally sings around the house today nationally, Krista Hull. <laughs> And she completely lost the lyrics. Why don't you get out of my life and let me make a brand new start? And with Bernard King as head judge, you could guarantee the comments would be frank and funny. You're blessed with being very good to look at. I'd be content to be a fashion model. Not every model has to sing, you know. The whole idea was everybody wanted to see what Bernard would say. Veteran TV producer Tracy Ayres worked on the show as a director's assistant. You would see an act and you would wonder what he was going to say at the end and we'd be sitting there stealing ourselves for whatever was going to come out of his mouth. Some dumb blondes look good as dumb redheads. Just be content not to sing. Others, like Wilsey, were a little kinder. You do have some potential there, but I would, I'd get some lessons seriously. I've given you 20 points. Some contestants took their inspiration from Gloria Gaynor. First I was afraid, I was petrified. Kept thinking I could never live without you by my side. And if the singing wasn't perfect, would get them across the line. At least she had more luck than Todd Rickson, whose routine was wrecked when he injured himself getting down to Prince. Oh, I think he's done a hamstring there, you're right. And while some thought they were Adelaide's answer to Whitney, others thought they were Johnny Farnham. We were rolling on the floor of the control room some, some nights. Uh, Singing-wise, you're not exactly the most enchanting experience I've had, but dance-wise, you're disaster. Just feature singers and dancers. What do you got there? I've seen everything now. I, I come to play the Goanna. When it comes to talent, it's just interpretation, isn't it, really? You. It was the funniest show I worked on in 40 years of TV. Just keep me hanging on. 
Now, now I'm assuming that's where you got your big break. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Given the lack of talent there, you, you remind me there. of a lot of those people. <laughs> yeah, but, thanks for you that. Know, a lot better, of course. <laughs> hey, uh, how's the heart? Mine's still. I'd rather have <laughs> ten goal wins, but if we have to do it in the last.